Welcome back everybody to episode 5 Griffin Indiana with me Wasteland Gaming. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the farm. I hope everyone is well. Uh, we are on a lovely sunny spring day today. Forecast is really good for today. Uh, I've got a couple of little chores to do first so we're just going to jump into the gator and uh, we're going to drop the rubbish off actually. Uh, we've got the rubbish to drop off down at the gate so we're just going to pick it up with the gator, stick it in there and then yeah we can get you on with the day while we're doing that. I can just fill you in on what we've been up to. So as you saw from the little uh, introduction, we uh, have been fairly busy. We did about three or four contracts, uh, sort of in the evening and overnight um, and this morning. So got those done. And yeah, as you saw, one of our neighbours came and had a look at uh, the pickup and the trailer last night. Uh, really nice, nice couple actually. Uh, they live just up on the hillside, the other side of the forest from us. And yeah, they're keen to buy the, the pickup and the trailer. What they were saying though is um, he's a collector of vehicles uh, and in particular pickups. Um, and yeah, he'd prefer if we could get the if it, we could get it resprayed, so we're going to do that for him. We'll get it resprayed, uh, and then we're going to take it down to his house. And he said to come and have a look at the vehicles as he's got as well, because um, he also mentioned that he might be quite interested in buying our 1455 and potentially our Fent GT as well. Um, the original owners never wanted to part with it, um, so he's he's made me an offer that we could potentially buy a couple or in exchange for the R2 tractors he could give us a couple of tractors and then uh, yeah and it should be even the tractors he's offering us are a bit more modern um, so yeah good good work for us so I'm going to do that other plans for this episode as well uh, I want to get some slurry onto our top fields if we have a quick look at the oh, field info going to the precision farming tab obviously we know the information on here our information came through on our two little vegetable patches as well and it's all loamy sand in there so what I've decided to do I've uh, come up with a bit of a, a crop rotation and we're gonna gonna have a play about with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring up two screens uh, in a minute but we'll just show the crop rotation that I've got set up um, so this is what I'm planning to do so rotation A would be our sort of the top two fields in field one uh, so A and B I've called them uh, and we're looking to put um, 
soya beans in that this year and then corn the next year and then potentially sunflower the after that as a bit of rotation. The lower parts of that field um, would be corn and sunflowers and then in our vegetable patch sugar beet and potatoes this year and then corn sunflowers after that um, and as you can see that's kind of given us sort of pretty good yields now obviously if we go back to this fit this screen then yeah we've got a different uh, soil types in there so fields 1a and b have got three types in there so silty clay loamy uh, sandy loam and loam and then the bottom ones have got loam and sandy loam in them and then as we mentioned before loamy sand so I'm just going to bring up two charts that I use to help me with precision farming and um, so they should appear on your screen just now so the the sort of the colorful one um, is basically crop yield versus soil type so if we look into our crop rotation for seasons and then tie that up with this then you start to get quite a good idea of what's what um, and yeah you can actually get in excess of 120% yield that you do with seasons with precision farming it can boost it boost it even more so um, looking at it um, our first field of soybeans will get 90 to 100 percent yield for that in our sort of in the soil type um, but I'm not going to have to add any nitrogen to that so our other chart on the side there tells us um, our nitrogen needs based on the soil type and the crop and um, so yeah soya beans we don't need to put any nitrogen on and they actually give us nitrogen back for the corn this year and the loamy sand uh, sorry sandy loam and the loam we're going to get 100 to 125 percent yield and that's gonna and we're gonna have to put um, between 160 and 200 uh, kilos of nitrogen on there and um, so that's what I'm thinking we'll put some slurry on those two fields uh, just to give it a boost and by putting 80 80 kilos on there then yeah we're not gonna have to put as half as much um, mineral fertilizer on there as as we would would have done without um, then our vegetable patches in loamy sand it's actually one of the best uh, soil types for potatoes uh, giving us 100% yield um, and sugar beets about 80% um, but yeah I want to give sugar beet a go because we don't we don't really do it so it'd be, be quite nice just to give that a shot um, and yeah nitrogen needs 100 kilos per hectare for uh, potatoes and 120 for sugar beet so again I could put some slurry onto one of those fields but yeah we might just hold off and just use mineral fertilizer because it is so small anyway uh, so yeah let's come back out of there so yeah that's kind of a rough plan so what we'll do we'll um, get this into here and we'll be give it a respray so <laughs> okay so that's uh yeah so these vehicles he's wanting to exchange with they better be good so how's that looking now look at that it's a thing of beauty fantastic so what I'll do, we'll, uh, we'll head down to his place uh, and we'll go and see them and yeah we'll go and drop off the trailer as well. Fantastic so yeah we're just heading up this hill here apparently they're they're just at the top of this hill so yeah we'll get get up to here and uh, yeah we'll go and say hello and uh, drop off this vehicle so oh, this is a nice place isn't it alright uh, let's park here just now ok well, these are probably the tractors they're looking to maybe swap oh, there's, there's the pickup oh they've got this as well 
Nice. It's Ford, isn't it? Sweet. That's a pretty cool ride. Okay. Right. I'm going to see uh, see where they're at. It's a huge place. This. Look at that. What a view. Amazing. Right. Oh. Got a barbecue going. I think I might be in the wrong place here. No. Oh. I think the door's down there. <laughs> right. Let's go and try and find a way into this place. Excellent. So, yeah, these are the two tractors that they're, they're willing to part exchange. So, he's, he was saying that actually the, the fence is super rare. Uh, so, yeah, it's actually worth quite a bit of money. So, yeah, he's more than willing to swap swap out the fourteen fifty five uh, and uh, the Fent for this, which is twelve forty six international, which is slightly newer than what we had. Um, it's quite rare this one as well because it's got for, uh, front three point link, um, and he said. Yeah, it also has the forks with it as well. And we've got a Case 5150 Pro. Um, so both of these are 150 horsepower. Um, and yeah, this has got the row crops on it as well, which could be quite handy. So yeah, quite tempted. Um, yeah, might be good to swap. He also said that this is for sale. This is the F250, uh, and yeah, he said that's possibly for sale, but I'm not sure. We have got our pickup, um, so yeah, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments whether I should get it or not. It is quite cool. Just have a quick look inside it. Yeah, it's pretty basic inside, but yeah, nice big, uh, nice big. Uh, pick up to it uh, and it's got tow hitch so yeah so he said just leave uh, just leave this here um, and then yeah he'll sort it out later but yeah it loves the, loves the paint job on it absolutely loves it uh, so I think easiest way to do this is just head across the fields I guess and through the woods hopefully I won't get attacked by a yeti um, He's going to wire wire the money across to us, going to get, get in touch with the bank and that should be in our account a bit later on. Right. Yeah, it's a bit of a walk from here actually. Might take a while. Right, we will see you probably back at the farm. Ah, there we go folks. So, I got back, had a, a wee drink. Uh, quite a long walk, so um, yeah, but we are back. What I've done is I have got the cultivator on the vent and I am just a, I've just filled up the fertilizer spreader or lime spreader with some more lime and got the 1455 ready so we'll jump in here and yeah next job is to get these two little vegetable patches limed so we'll get that done and then we can get cultivated in and then what we can do is then go and get ourselves our potato planter so what I will probably do we'll get this just done just now just zoom out so you can see a bit better and go so I'll get these two fields uh, spread and then what I'll do I think is I'll get in touch with the dealership and then yeah we'll go and get our ooh, let's hedge there oh doesn't want that corner that's fine so yeah i'll get in touch with the the dealership and yeah we'll go and see if they need if they can get us hold of a potato planter for cheap um, I'm only looking for something that's second hand, something old. Uh, I'm not looking for something that's uh, new at all. 
because uh, it's here's only just a small patch so yeah we'll see what they can do for us but that really didn't take that long if I jump on the field pH per perfect fantastic so I'm going to put this away and we'll get the field cultivated and then like I said we'll go and see if we can get um, some sort of potato planter Alright, just leave that there just now we'll grab the fence and then yeah we'll get cultivating done There we go. So, I think if we start, start just here. There we go. So this will take me a little while just to get this uh, cultivated in. So I'll go and do this off camera. Uh, it won't take me well. I think we'll be after twelve by the time I'm finished. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go and I'll give the guys down at the dealership that call. And probably next time you see us, we'll have our potato planter in hand. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get this field planted. Then I need to get in touch with uh, EG. Miles to see if they can sort some slurry out for us. Um, so that'll be our final job of the day, I think. Right. We will see you very, very shortly. Um, and we'll get these two pills cultivated. See you at the dealership. There we go, driving through the town. We have got the two fields cultivated with the wee fent and yeah I've been in touch with the dealership and they have got us a really nice and small potato planter uh, I've also leased a slurry spreader so you can probably just see them out the side of the window there so there they both are and yeah the potato planter has cost us $1300 so not a great deal of money um, and yeah the slurry spreader was $967 to lease or rent so not bad so just have a quick look at it so it is small uh, I think it's 370 uh, litres it holds uh, but that will be fine for what we're doing and then yeah I'll come and pick up the slurry spreader a bit later I have been in touch with EG, EG Miles as well and um, so yeah, because uh, we're part of the cooperative, they can transport slurry to our fields for us, uh, but we just have to pay for the filling up. So, um, so we'll see how much that costs. Uh, they've got a big tanker, so what we'll do, um, we'll get them, give them a call once we're ready, uh, once we finish this, and then we can get uh, that sent up to the field, and I'll come back down with the. Uh, international and yeah I'll pick up the slurry spreader and I'll probably fill that up uh, at the biogas plant at EJ's uh, while I'm down here so we've got a full tank to go go straight onto the fields with and um, yeah the nitrogen levels in that field are really quite low and um, so yeah it's gonna take a fair hit uh, but yeah a bit of organic can't complain we'll get it done so I will see you up at the the vegetable patch and yeah I'll get this full of potatoes um, and then yeah we'll uh, get, get this field planted
Excellent. So we are almost at the end of this uh, planting, which is great. It runs at a pretty slow speed, does this uh, potato planter, but yeah, needless to say, it's got it got the job done. Um, and yeah, that's uh, it's taken a yeah 30, 30, 30 minutes, forty minutes in game time, uh, actual time. Oh, about fifteen minutes or so. So. Yeah, not too bad. Um, so we'll get this last little bit done and just check if there's any patches we've missed. Looks not too bad to me. A little bit up here. And I think I missed a bit right at the start as well. So we'll get that done. Just that little bit there. a little bit just at this edge somewhere. There we go. One potato patch planted. Excellent. I think I will do probably the sugar beet off camera but I might record it and throw it into the intro of the next episode um, in fact we'll put this around the back here uh, yeah I might throw that into the intro on the next episode uh, because times are ticking on and we need to get that slurry spread oh. hold that up that's that perfect Right, so I'm going to head down uh, to the town again. We'll go and pick, pick up this slurry spreader and then, yeah, I'll bring it back up. I'll get it filled up and we'll see you back up in the fields here. Excellent. So we have got the slurry up there. I got a phone call off off the guys. They've they've got it dropped off. So it should be just up here. Here, just about to see the truck. And yeah, we have got our slurry spreader, and I've already filled it up as well. So yeah, all told, we should have about seventy thousand liters of slurry. Whether that will make the distance, I don't know. We will soon find out. But. Uh, yeah, we will soon find out. Let's get going. So I've got it on automatic application because I'm just going for the full whack. Uh, and yeah, we'll just see how far it takes us. Like I said, the field's pretty low uh, on nitrogen just now. Uh, so as you'll see when we start spreading. Yeah, it's going for the 80 kilos and we're all in the orange but it is slowly changing colour which is a good thing so yeah we'll see how quickly this drains uh, we're on loam at the moment so yeah it will uh, definitely get through it pretty quick yeah. did I miss a bit or did I not? no it's not registering that but that's fine I reckon we're just going to be able to do 
over, just over one pass <laughs> per tank. That's that's going to take a lot of slurry. What have I let myself in for here? Oh, it's really, really orange on this end. Yeah, we're going to go through it. That's fine though. It needs it. Needs that boost. Okay, so that is one tank. Turn up. <laughs> that was quick. All right. We'll go and fill up and we'll start the process again. We'll just keep going. And looking at it. Yeah, we might have to have two tankers worth at this rate. We'll see. Fantastic, so we are just coming up to the final pass on this field and yeah, two, two loads from the tanker has got it done so it's definitely, uh, yeah, took a fair bit of slurry but yeah, not massively expensive to, yeah, 1300 quid for the second lot so yeah, we're just uh, $1300 should I say uh, so yeah, we've kind of done all right, and yeah, we're just coming to the end of uh, end of this first field. Uh, field D. Oh, missed a bit. Not wanting to do that bit. That's fine. And then yeah, we'll get this slither done, and that's us. Like I said, I'm going to leave those two because they're going to have soya beans in. So I'm not going to over fertilize, no point, uh, it's just going to harm our yield. So we'll just uh, leave off on that one, but what I will have to do is get this all cultivated in. So what I'll probably do is I will see about using the co-op's equipment. Um, may well use their cultivator to get this all cultivated in and then hopefully next episode we'll get some temperatures where we can plant some crops in here um, what I want to do next episode as well is potentially um, is potentially plow a field over in this pasture here as well so over next to the cows um, I'm planning to put a 
a big field in there so we may well get that done next episode as well but um, yeah fairly happy with that if we look at this now we've got 100 kilos per hectare of nitrogen there and then as we dart around the field so sandy loam we head down this way should come on loam so there's 120 there and then yeah over onto here sandy loam so yeah definitely boosted the field but yeah it will probably need some more f fertilizer mineral fertilizer uh, or liquid fertilizer once we get to that point so that was that really appreciate the guys bringing up this uh, tanker that's been fantastic and yeah we'll return the slurry spreader uh, we'll go and sell the excess down at the VGA and yeah we will see you on the next episode I uh, hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have done don't forget to hit that like button if you want to subscribe to the channel you're more than welcome to and if you want to share or comment then please do and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed uh, another farming episode in Griffin, Indiana and we will see you next time for some more fun on the farm. Take care.